This quick tip is going to look at how to add and remove icons from the dock. This is a basic skill in OS X, but I often observe that even seasoned users of the Mac often get it wrong. So let's learn how to do it right. Ready? Let's get started. The dock is a standard feature of OS X, and it usually appears at the bottom of the screen, although it can be on the left or the right. The dock holds icons for programs, files, and folders in two specified areas. Notice in this dock, all the programs are to the left of the dashed line. All the files and folders are to the right. The trash can is to the right because in the Mac OS X, the trash is actually a special kind of folder. Similarly, if you go all the way to the left, you'll see the Finder icon. The Finder icon is present in the Application section because it's a special program that the operating system runs that gives you the desktop that you're so used to working in. There are a couple ways to add icons to the dock, depending on whether the object you want to add is a program a file, or a folder. The most common method is to use simple drag and drop. It works for everything, in fact. Simply grab the icon to the object you want to place in the dock, move it over to the dock, wait for a space or a separation to appear in the dock, and let go. The object now appears in the dock and can be used as a shortcut to launch that document or program. If you want to add a program icon to the dock, there's another method available to you. Simply launch the program or locate a program that's already running, in this case, like Preview. Click on the icon and hold down the mouse button. Go to the Options menu, select the submenu, Keep in Dock, and that program will remain in the dock ready to be used next time, even after it's quit. Let's test it. We're going to quit it. And the icon remains in the dock, and if I click it, Preview will launch again, and I'll be able to view PDF files and graphics files again. But let's go back. Let's add a program icon to the dock using drag and drop. Let's open the application folder and grab the word processor bean. We're going to pick it up, move it down to the dock, and create a space for it between a couple icons and let go. And there we have it. Bean has been added to our dock. Let's add a folder to the dock this time. Let's go to the side and grab that text folder, move it to the dock, create a space for it, and let go. And notice the folder has now been transposed to the dock. If I go and click on it, I see a summary of the documents inside. If I right click, I get settings for it. For instance, I can view it as a fan. I can view it as a grid or a list. If I want the Mac to decide, I'll choose automatic. Once I select the folder, it pops up and I can pick a file from it and launch it directly from that list. Well, how do I reposition an icon once it's in the dock? Maybe I want to relocate one or two so that they're more convenient or they're near other programs I run together with them. Well, it's very simple. Just grab the icon, pick it up, move it down the dock, wait for a space to occur, and drop it in. Let's try it again. Grab the chess icon, move it down, and we'll put it next to Safari. Okay. So now, how do I remove an icon from the dock? Well, removing an icon is pretty much the same process we've been through, but in reverse. Normally, you just grab the icon, pick it up, drag it off the dock, notice the little puff of smoke, there it goes. It disappears from the dock. Optionally, you can use the contextual menu for the program. Click and hold, go to the Options submenu, and select Remove from Dock, and it takes it away. Lastly, you can pick the object up and drag it to the trash can. 
Well, that's about it for the dock. Take a minute or two to check the system preferences for the dock. You might want to select one or two of its features to customize the way it works for you. But otherwise, I think you now know everything you need to know about the dock. <laughs>